Fantastic comments on my previous 100 gigabits per second video. Enable Jumbo Frames with Max MTU, then test. It should reach 70 to 90 gigabits per second. And what about MTU and Jumbo Frames? In 10 gigabits per second, it's supposed to be 9,000. Haven't seen 100 gig network card options. Maybe you need to assign a number close to your network speed. In this example, I'm getting 54.7 gigabits per second. I'll clear the screen and run that again. Here we're getting 54.8 gigabits per second, summary 53.3 gigabits per second. Okay, so in answer to those questions, maximum transmission unit or MTU is the maximum amount of data that you can send on ethernet, so maximum frame size. As you can see here with ethernet, the maximum frame size is 15, 18 bytes with 18 bytes of overhead, resulting in an MTU of 1500 bytes. Now, typically in ethernet, you're going to use an MTU of say 1500 bytes. When you get to 25 gig or 40 gig or 100 gig, you're going to make the MTU bigger. So as it says here, standard ethernet supports an MTU of 1500 bytes and ethernet implementation supporting jumbo frames allow for an MTU up to 9,000 bytes. So typically you would set it to 9,000 across all of your devices. In this example, I have one computer connected directly to the other. So I could change it to another value as long as I set it the same across both connections on this fiber cable. So in this example, I've got a gaming computer on my desk and one below my desk. They are connected using fiber, 100 gigabits per second ethernet. You can see here ethernet three, Mellanox Connect 4 adapter has a speed of 100 gigabits per second. Under properties, configure. We can configure a whole bunch of options on this network card, including jumbo packet. I've set this to 9,000. That's typically what you would set it to. So that's on the one computer. I'll go on to the other computer. This is the one below my desk. So on this computer, Ethernet 4, Mellanox connector as well, 100 gigabits per second. Go to properties, configure, and under advanced, jumbo packet 9,000, and click OK. So previously we were getting 53.3 in my example. Go back to the client and I'll run this again, see if it makes any difference. 54.7 gigabits per second, so very similar speed to what we had previously. So in answer to these comments, I already set the MTU to 9000. That's not the problem. The problem is the hardware in these gaming computers. I mean, firstly, I'm using Windows, probably not the best idea, it's Windows Home, and these are older computers. So here's another comment, use jumbo frames locally. The speed blocks are limitations of IP packet payload, 1500 bytes, and the limited IP window size and acknowledgements buffer size. So the MTU was set in my demonstration. The limitation is the hardware of these computers. It's not the MTU. I already configured that on the network cards.